Hello, this is going to be a quick quick tips video on how to uh, pivot around a uh, non-zero entry in a matrix. Uh, but before I go into pivoting uh, into uh, pivoting um, around actual entries, before you can do that, you have to know about what row operations are. Um, so, a row operation is just things that you do to a matrix, like um, the first kind is the easiest kind. It's called row swap. So let's copy this matrix. So if I wanted to swap rows one and two, I would just swap them out. Like that. Um, so that just means that I swap the rows. That's actually not something that we're going to do in pivoting, but um, it is still you know, handy to, to know about how to do that, because that's going to be much more important if you do um, reduced row echelon form of a matrix, but that's a, for a different lesson. Um, the next kind of um, elementary row operation would be row multiplication. So uh, let's say for I want to multiply I want to multiply uh, the second row um, by 2. So that means I have 2 times, oh, sorry, 1 times 2, which will just be 2, and then 5 times 2, which will be 10, and then 5 times 2, which will be 10, and then 3 times 2, which will be, not 67, will be 6. Um, so then this is the second row multiplied by 2, and then I replace the second row by it. Um, and this is a uh, pretty important row operation when we do go into pivoting. Uh, the next kind is the most tedious kind, and it's going to it's called um, row addition. But it's not just addition; it also involves um, uh, it also involves what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, multiplication. How can I forget that word? Okay, so um, the row addition is going to See, let's copy this matrix down. Um, see, what I want to do is I want to um, take a multiple of row 1. Let's say row 1 times 3 plus row 2. So I'm going to take row 1, multiply it by 3, and then add it to row 2, and then replace row 2 with the result. So row 1 times 3, which will just be 3, 3 plus 1 will equal 4. Uh, okay, so row 1 times 3. Um, uh, sorry, that's not row 1, that's row 1. Okay, row 1, so it'll have to be 30 plus 5, so we'll get 35. And then this one will be uh, 3, 1 times 3, which should be 3 plus 5, will give you 8. And this one will be row 1 times 3, which will be. Okay, that should be 24. Uh, 24 plus 3 will give you 27. So this is row 3, row sorry, row 1 times 3 plus row 2. Uh, this is by far the most difficult and tedious one. Um, there are commands on like uh, if if you do matrices on calculators like uh, a TI-83 or um, TI-89, there's commands to do these very tedious things for you. Uh, although it is actually tedious just, tedious just to learn how to do it on your, the calculator even, but it's, ha it's still a little bit easier to do it on the calculator than by hand. You just have to remember what the commands are. Uh, but you're, there's a good chance you're not going to be allowed to use a graphing calculator on a matrix test. Maybe not, maybe you are. just depends on the teacher. Um, so whenever we want to those those last two row operations are the only things we need to do to pivot around an entry in a matrix um, now to what it means to to pivot around an entry in a matrix basically what it means we're going to use row operations like say we want to pivot around this five here first thing we're going to do is is um, do row operations to make this 5 into a 1 and then everything above it a 0 and everything below it a 0. So, um, this, so the first row operation that we do is going to be um, is going to be for the second row so we have um, row 
2 times uh, 1 over 5. So, because we want to make this 5 into a 1. Uh, also bear in mind that um, you can't do just addition or subtraction to a row. That's just not a valid um, row operation. There's not something that you can do to a matrix at all. Uh, so you have row 2 plus 1 fifth. That'll make this 1 fifth. Uh, 1 fifth times 1, which will just give you 0.2 or 1 fifth, and then equals 5 times 1 fifth, which is 1, which is what we're going for. We're trying to get 1. Um, um, so then we do 5 times 1 fifth, which will, of course, give you 1 again, and 3 times 1 fifth, which will give us 0 0.6. Uh, I have no idea if there's any way to get this spreadsheet to display things in terms of fractions, but it sure would be handy. Um, at any rate, uh, so this is our second matrix. The, f the next step is is just to multiply this by one fifth. I choose one fifth because that turns this into a one. Um, if it were six, I'd choose one sixth. If it were seventy billion, I'd do one over seventy billion. Uh, but hopefully, you don't have to deal with that kind of a nightmare matrix. Um, so the next step, uh, we, we're done with with row two. It's exactly the way we want it to look. Um, but the next part is going to be to do above and below. Um, and for this, we, need to, we want to make this into a zero. And we can't just multiply by zero across, because that's a, that's a trivial uh, way to do it. Because that'll make everything zero, and it'll make it kind of a useless answer. So instead, what we want to do is we want to multiply um, uh, row 2 by 10 by negative 10, oops, excuse me, by negative 10, and add it to row 1. What did I just do? Oops, I forgot to do the... Okay, there we go. Um, so, uh, we have um, row 2 multiplied by um, negative 10 plus row 1. So, let me clear out row 1 so that I can... Um, replace it with this. So we have negative. Okay, sorry. We have 0 0.2 times negative 10 plus 1, which will give us negative 1. And we have. Um, uh, I already got lost. Okay, so it's easy to get lost in this stuff. So we have row 2 will be 1 times negative 10 plus. 10, which should be 0, which is exactly what we're going for. If, if you do a pivot and it doesn't result in 0 in the column that you're currently working on, then you mess something up. Um, so then you have row 2, which should be 1, times negative 10 plus 1, so it'll give us negative 9. And 0.6 times negative 10 plus row 1, which should be 8, will give us 2. Um, so then this is our next matrix. Um, this is step three, I guess you might say. Now I want to go on to the next one. Now I do the same thing, but I want to get make this row into a zero. So then I have uh, equals oops, equals r2 times negative 8. See, I'm trying to get this into a zero. That's why I have the reason. Uh, this one makes it convenient because I'll just multiply it by the negative of this, plus r3. So I'll clear out this row. So we'll have um, r2, which is just going to be 0.2 times negative 8 plus row 3, which will just be 2. Row 3 is 2 right here. And that results in 0.4. And now we have um, row 2, which will be 1 times negative 8. This should result 0, plus R3, which will just be 8, 0. Good. So then we have uh, row 2, which will be 1 times negative 8, not 2, plus 2 will equal negative 6. And um, then R2 is going to be 
point six minus eight times times negative eight times negative eight um, plus four which will equal negative point eight uh, so now we have zero above and zero below this right here should be our final matrix and I actually have a program open that you can't see that should pivot for me let's see if it works out the same way if not I'll have to start the video over and do it over again so then we have let's see if I can copy this over um, you can kinda see it okay so then we have negative one zero negative nine two uh, one fifth which is point two one one three over five, I'm going to assume that's point six, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, because then you multiply it by two and you have six over ten. Um, point four, zero, negative six, and negative four fifths. So, um, this is going to be the final pivot matrix. Uh, so this is what it, what it means to pivot around that entry. And notice that you can only pivot around uh, non-zero numbers. You can you can pivot around negative numbers just fine, but if you try to pivot around a zero, you'll find that you can't because the first thing we did was we divided by that um, that five, and that would mean dividing by zero, and you can't do that. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Feel free to uh, come back and watch it if it's uh, needs more clarification. Uh, so good luck.